I smell like a big, big steak. Yeah. Oh, we just had Korean, Korean barbecue. Bar. You smell good. I want to eat you. Welcome Hi, everyone. For the best show on the internet. My name is P from Wyatt. Oh my God, my name is Mitch's room, and you are filling me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Wyatt's been a dirty little girl. Yeah, lately. she smells bad. Today on Super we're gonna answer your questions. One and two and three and four and five. So we went to Twitter and we asked this. Uh uh. And we're gonna answer some Twitter questions today. And be sure to go to our app and ask some questions there. We'll be answering them. All day today. So we're gonna hop right into it. First question comes from Omar, and he says, "What is the prettiest place you have been?" I would say Portofino, Italy. Oh, Portofino. That's a good one. That's a good uh, one. Tokyo, Japan is like really beautiful in its own way. That city is super That's cool. True. Paris is stunning. Rachie sings. Says Scott. Why haven't you taken over Mitch's extra closet space? I don't have extra closet Because problems. he doesn't have extra closet space. <laughs> Literally, he has more clothes than anyone I've ever met in my entire life. He buys like three new garments a day. <laughs> and I'm always like, you don't need that. You have 42 coats. And he's like, yes, I do need it. It's the new Loewe fall line or something stupid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I support Mitch in all his endeavors. Thank you. I had a, no, you know I took a break from shopping. Hannah says, what is your favorite and least favorite part about living in LA? Love y'all. I'm gonna go with my least favorite just because I'm a pessimistic horror. <laughs> my least favorite part is, um, um, <laughs> My favorite part of LA is the fact that there is everything here. There's like all types of food, all types of concerts, everyone comes here. Kendall says, who is the most famous person you've ever met? Um, Who's the most famous person I've ever met? Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Or Taylor Swift. What about J-Lo? We met J-Lo. She's famous. Yeah. What's your favorite compliment to receive, asked Sam? Oh man, I love compliments. I love compliments. When people tell me they like my voice. My singing yeah. voice. I like when people say, Wow, you have such an amazing energy. That's a good compliment. Robin says, I just wanted to know what size your gauges are. They were a zero until I took them out, but my ears are still stretched out. Couple more. Would you rather have Wyatt eat you alive or eat each other? Well, it depends It depends on the circumstance. If you were dead and I was like really hungry, I'd probably rather eat you. Yeah. Than no. have like Wyatt eat me. The circumstance is you have, you have an ultimatum. Why it has to eat you while you're conscious, or you have to eat me. Somebody while is f***ed up in the head and they're telling you to do one of two of these things. There's like, there's no way. I know, it's unhypothetical. Yeah, but I would just rather die. Okay, that's not an option. <laughs> I would want to get eaten by Wyatt. You don't want to eat me? <laughs> Slay Scribe says, if you had to give up wearing pants or shirts for the rest of your life, which would you choose and why? I'm gonna go with pants because honestly, I could just wear a big oversized sweater and call it a dress. And That's cute. Yeah. I would I would give up shirt because it would motivate me to like really be snatched all the time. God, we are two different people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would just get lots of tattoos. Told this. Caitlin says, Scott, can you describe Mitch's butt in one word? And Mitch, can you describe Scott's jaw in one word? Plump. <laughs> that couldn't be further from the truth. Um, I'm gonna say. That's nice. Last one. <laughs> what voice do you think Wyatt would have if he was human? I think he would sound like Gilbert Gottfried mixed with like cool. Jinx Monsoon. I disagree. Okay. <laughs> and now it's time for the things My weekly obsession is the TV show Broad City. You talking about that? I lot. haven't stopped watching and I haven't stopped telling people about it, clearly. Um, it is so funny. I don't want to like say this, but I feel like Scott and I are happy and I wanna. My weekly obsession <laughs> is this vacuum cleaner I got for my room. And um, it's like, it's a little, it's a, one of those little circles that's like. Oh, you got a Roomba? Yeah. I'm gonna get one of those. Oh my God. They're expensive. I don't know, it was a birthday gift. Really? Yeah. I'm so jealous. Yeah. And it just goes around the room. And it, sometimes it does get like stuck on the carpet, but then it'll, it knows when it's stuck yeah. and then it goes. And gets off of that. Everyone who has a good song, go listen to anything else today or why it will all over your face. <laughs> oh. My song is a song called, you guys already know what it is. It's MSN, 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 the new Sophie song. I'm obsessed with it. I can't stop listening to it. Love you, Sophie. Keep doing it. Shout things. out to Sophie. Shout out, S O. My song of the week, actually, it could be honestly seven songs because I have fallen in love with the new Disclosure album. Don't. I know I'm late, but it's 
real good. That and Mitch played me the song called Moving Mountains, and I think that's my favorite. Well, thanks for tuning in to this wonderful episode of Superfruit. They'd be the best. Be sure to get the app. We'll be answering your questions. Also, feel free to keep Shazam and Can't Sleep Love because we have been getting added to radio stations and all sorts of crazy stuff has happened because of all you yeah. guys Shazamming it. And so, keep doing it. It's making us so happy. We love you guys. You're always the best. Goodbye! I don't want my room to smell like pee anymore. <laughs> I don't want.